The Goon Squad brothers have quickly become one of my favorite YouTubers to watch when it comes to rebuilding supercars. Although today we need to talk about their childhood friend VTune. In almost every Goon Squad rebuild project, if the brothers are challenged with something that they aren't experienced with, VTuned is the one who knows how to do it. Whether it's pulling, welding, or even framework, VTuned seems to know how to get it done and buy the books too. Let's just say he's quite the friend to have. However, what I find most intriguing about VTuned is his success and business mindset on YouTube. Not only has he averaged millions of views on his own channel, he's even managed to create a successful business working for himself all from a small town in Tennessee. As you know, videos on how to fix cars are nothing new to YouTube, and auto mechanics has been around for decades. So how come VTuned, who simply posts videos rebuilding cars, be getting so much attention and making tons of money at the same time? Well, maybe he's figured something out about business and entrepreneurship that the rest of us just haven't. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the VTune success story and figure out how he went from working out of his family's car shop to absolutely dominating the YouTube rebuild niche and making thousands of dollars at the same time. Not only that, I'll also be analyzing his story to see if there are any important traits or business strategies we can learn during today's episode. And trust me, there's a lot. So if you're interested in rebuilding cars like I am, starting your own channel, or even becoming an entrepreneur, then make sure to have a pen ready as we dive right into his story. To start, unlike what most of you probably think, his name isn't actually VTuned. It's actually Ben Liverchuk. Growing up in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the same town as the Goon Squad brothers, VTuned was always hanging out at his father's frame shop called Certified Auto Repair and Sales, which is still around today. It's a family business where not only VTuned worked, but so did most of his family. His grandfather Ivan, who was a master carpenter and automotive frame specialist from Ukraine, his father and his five brothers Mark, Paul, Nate, Daniel, Vlad, and Yuri would all work together at the shop. Then I think I got all their names right, but my apologies if I didn't. Super impressed and super happy. You know, very happy for my bro, he's doing big things. Anyways, this means rebuilding cars had always been a huge part of VTune's life and his family's, even since he was a kid. It wasn't until he was around 14 that he started to get into framework. His dad had given him and his brother a 1999 Nissan Altima that a tree had fell on, and it was up to him to fix it if they wanted to actually use it. So he got right to work, but not without a little help from his close friend. Funny enough, that friend's name was Simon, who you guys should know from the Goon Squad channel. I mean, I basically started out probably when I was like 14, started doing framework. And the crazy thing is the first car I've ever did framework on is one that me and Simon were actually working on together. My dad gave me and my brother a Nissan Altima. I think it was a 99. A tree had fell on it. Keep in mind, V2 never went to trade school to learn how to weld and do framework. Just seeing his family do it all those years was enough for him to pick up the basics. Remember this the next time you doubt yourself when wanting to try something new. Nowadays, you don't need school to learn how to do things. When I buy my my first car to rebuild on this channel, I don't plan on going to school to learn how to fix it. I can learn all I need from the internet and YouTube. VTune explained the reason he got into framework is out of passion for fixing things and taking something broken and making it whole again. VTune explains the reason he got into framework is out of passion for fixing things and taking something broken and making it whole again. He also admits that there's good money in the trade, so I can understand why he stuck with it. As the years went by, he continued to work out of his dad's shop, earning as much money as he can. Starting on small projects and eventually taking on bigger ones. Some of those projects even happened to be the goon squads. During this time, his welding skills got better and so did his knowledge for how to pull cars. While he was perfecting his craft, the goon squad brothers were actually busy growing their own YouTube channel. You can even see that five years ago during one of the goon squads first ever recorded rebuild series that they had brought their Jeep Rubicon to VTune shop for some framework. He's even been on their channel before that in some of the other builds. I believe the goon squads early success on their channel was what really influenced VTune's interest in making one of his own, kind of following in their footsteps, as it was only a few months later after the Goon Squad's Jeep series that he also started his own YouTube channel. For the first few years on the channel, most of the videos consisted of just filming the projects he was working on at the shop. He would buy a Mustang from auction, fix it up at his dad's shop, and resell it for a profit, all the while filming it for YouTube and earning some money here and there from ad revenue. Slowly, he realized just like the Goon Squad brothers that the cooler the car, the higher 
higher the views on YouTube would be, he even started a transition from rebuilding normal cars for his own business to more sportier cars for YouTube attention, using the money he made from doing jobs on the side from his dad's shop and from projects he flipped, it allowed him to go from a Mustang to a Hellcat to a Cadillac and even a BMW M4, which really gave his channel the push it needed, bringing in well over a million views. He also used what the Goon Squad brothers had figured out to his advantage. If you check out my previous video on how the Goon Squad brothers became millionaires, you'll see that early on in their YouTube career, they figured out that using the keyword rebuild while making their videos and series would get them way more views than if they didn't. Something about the word rebuilding combined with the series style videos like part one, part two, part three, part four is extremely attractive to the YouTube algorithm. This technique allowed YouTube to recommend and suggest his next video and series, keeping his viewers on his content, causing it to snowball. Vtune was able to pick up on this like the Goon Squad brothers did and immediately made the change to his channel. Almost every single video after his discovery was titled Rebuilding and was part of a series. And also, if you want to check out that video on the Goon Squad brothers, then make sure to check it out right here. Continuing what he learned, he made another series rebuilding a wrecked Nissan GTR, which was a massive success. Unfortunately though, that's when things took a huge turn for the worse. He got into a major car accident with his younger brother Nate and broke his neck. He thought he would never be able to work on cars again. Fortunately, he got really lucky and was able to make a full recovery. But even during that time, whether he was supposed to or not, he still continued to rebuild cars. The car actually broke my neck like two weeks ago. That's why there haven't been any videos, but it's healing up nicely. He got another big break when he decided to rebuild a wrecked McLaren 720S, something that had never been filmed before on YouTube. It was so popular, he even made it on some some big news outlets. With the influx in revenue coming in from his new sponsors, ad revenue, merch, affiliate links, and businesses, he was able to get his own shop. It's pretty incredible how far he's come. He's even rubbed off on his brothers too, who also have made their own YouTube channels. One is called 23rd Garage, made by his brother Yuri, which was just actually featured on the Goon Squad's channel. We are leaving 23rd Garage and we had to, of course, show this thing off, man. And the other is called Motorhead.co, which is made by his brother Mark. Today, Unfortunately, VTune's views have kind of slowed down compared to what they once were, but honestly, it's kind of understandable. At some point, how much bigger and better can your builds get? Once you rebuild a car like a McLaren 720S, especially how in-depth he did, all your builds after that aren't really a step up. Even if you rebuild like a Ferrari, it's kind of just a lateral move, if you know what I mean. This is something that Tavares also talked about. Once you reach a level of like, okay, I'm rebuilding supercars, everything is just like a lateral move. Let's say if I do a Lambo and then I do a Ferrari, people kind of expect that. Anyways, something that really radiates from VTune's story is how dedicated he is to doing what he loves. Not only that, but he was able to turn ordinary auto mechanic work into an extremely monetizable business by creating multiple revenue streams. Think about it, before YouTube, the only money he could make was from projects he personally worked on and the projects that people brought him. Now, through YouTube, the sky's the limit. This is what I call doing what you know and are passionate about and not investing in things you don't. You've probably heard of Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world. What sets Buffett apart is how many people turn to him for investing advice. And one of his personal investing rules right after never lose money is if you don't understand a business, do not buy it. What this means is if you understand a business or a sector, you could have the upper hand when it comes to taking advantage or scaling it. Your experience may not seem financially related at first, but with the ability to invest in literally anything you want and start a business in anything you want, your knowledge will allow you to make Make better financially informed decisions. And this is exactly what VTune did. He didn't deviate from what he knew. He just kind of honed in on his craft. He didn't start a business doing something that he didn't care about or wasn't knowledgeable in. He stuck with what he knew and in return, it rewarded him greatly. I think this is truly some great advice. Don't start a business making pizza if you don't like pizza. Don't buy a restaurant if you've never worked in one before. People are just aren't going to take you seriously. You know, do what you know and what makes you happy and money should follow or at least your chances will be higher. It's so often that I see a pattern in successful entrepreneurs and VTune is the perfect and I mean perfect example. They all have a dedicated mindset and a passion for their business. They stuck with what they knew. Unfortunately, this is the end of the story for now, but I know there's a lot we'll see from VTuned. With that being said, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. And if you want to see the video about how rebuilding supercars made the Goon Squad Brothers millionaires, then make sure to check out the video right over here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.